Hey guys, as I said in the last video, I will um, show you how the fraction distillation column fractions are in the column. Hey guys, welcome back to Pure Science Education. And as I said in the last video, and I showed you how the fractional distillation column work itself, in this video, we're going to be looking at how the fractions work now. So, if you were looking at each of the fractions, it shows you the number of carbons they have on the side and the names. So, in the exam itself, like I showed in the last video, the six mark question on how the fraction distillation column work. Here in this one, they can ask you the temperatures, they can ask you the name, um, the sizes of the fractions, they can ask you which each of the fractions do as well. So let's start at the bottom of the column, which has got the um, largest fraction of C70, which is bitumen, which is the road tarmac. And this is the reason you need to have extremely high temperatures for this to break down. Um, if you if it's extreme heat, you some very rarely you'll see in this country this road tarmac breaking down, but it can happen if it's really extreme temperatures. Um, you got the fuel oil which is used to fuel the ships. You got lubricating oil again. It can be used for lubricating uh, machinery and objects. Um, diesel oil is used for lorries or even some cars. Um, you got kerosene, which is a fuel for aeroplanes. NAFTA is used in the pharmaceuticals to make medicine as a filler. Um, petrol is used in cars. And then you get the refinery LPG gas. So you will see all these different fractions have got lots of different functions. And like I said in the last video, each of these fractions are collected um at different points with different temperatures and so on so let's um obviously the top of the column is really really cold like about um 25 degree ish and the bottom is just over 350 degree so if you were to look at the top of the column we established they have smaller hydrocarbon chains so smaller um hydrocarbon let's just call them small molecules on the top of your um fraction distillation column so again, in terms of properties, if they're asking the exam, they're going to have low boiling points. Hence, they are got lower temperatures. They're going to be very volatile. Um, and the word volatile means they easily evaporate. They um, flow easily which can be linked to the viscosity is another word they'll ask in exam and they ignite easily and again again the word ignite can be replaced by flammable so remember flammability volatility um, viscosity and the boiling points are what we're looking at if we do the opposite on the bottom uh, like the bitumen or tarmac or the fuel oil you're just going to give them the name of large molecules And they'll pretty much do the opposite now because they are massive hydrocarbon chain you know strong bonds strong bonds lead to um higher boiling points because you're going to need lots of energy to break them they're not very volatile so that means they do not evaporate easily um they do do not don't flow easily that means they don't have a high viscosity um they're quite thick a uh, liquid and they don't ignite easily which means they're not very flammable so any of these questions can come up in terms of usage where they are the fraction itself and the properties hope you find this useful don't forget to subscribe and watch the other video too good luck